Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam. I am coming back to you as promised. And today we're gonna go over what I'm going to do with my tax refund. Now, uh, in Ditch of the Debt, that's the Facebook group we have. Sorry, y'all. Um, over on Facebook, it's um, Pam Meets World Ditching the Debt. And it's about about a hundred of us over there, hundred plus, and a few of us are very very interactive. We will check each other, support each other, all of that good stuff. Or hey chick, you are not doing that well. Or hey dude, uh, you might want to rethink that. And so we've had some um, challenging things that have gone on, and so. You know, one of our members, unfortunately, you know, she's going through some house stuff. And so she needed some support and just needed to vent. And so we were there for her. I'm not calling anybody's name um, because of the fact, you know, she didn't give me permission. But just so that you know that we are here to support you. Um, it's just not me. Um, I've, I've said it a hundred times. This is not my group. This is our group. This is somewhere we can come and chat and be able to interact and so we'll post different things um so um when i posted my dilemma which was i don't know what to do because i am scared not to have some money and i wanted some money to play with I'm just being honest those are the dogs y'all used to them so sorry um but i wanted something just some play money honestly so they Pulled me back in, reeled me back in, and <laughs> said, uh, look at here, we got a vision here, got to stay focused. So, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to do with my tax return. Um, and one of the guys on there, not going to mention anybody's name, um, he did say, you know, you're getting too much back. But, um, I did change my deductions, but because I still have a child at home, and then because, and you'll see when I give you the breakdown, um, Brianna allowed me to um, go ahead and claim her since she was in college, um, which allowed her to get her refund. And then uh, you'll see in the breakdown that I'm going to give her a little extra because um, she let me go ahead and claim her. Um she was thinking she was going to get the majority of her taxes back, but she didn't. So I kind of replaced it, the amount that she thought she was going to get back. She thought she was going to get around 700 and she's the one with no dependents. So um, I'm just going to give her 700 and I'll tell you guys that in a minute when I break it down. So here we go. Uh, it's a little scary for me, y'all. And I'm not going to lie because I don't, I don't. I, I know that the money needs to go. Don't get me wrong. I know the money needs to go. I know that I need to go ahead and, you know, get this taken care of. But it is just a little scary. So, I got 600, excuse me, $6,974 back from federal. I got $264 back from state, which makes $72.38. I give Janae 100 let her do whatever she wants to do with it. So that'll keep her from asking me to buy her stuff. So she's going to redo her room, she said. And I think she wants a drone. So whatever she wants to do with it, that's fine. Now, let me preface this and say, y'all do not come for me. Y'all know how I am when it comes to my kids. So <laughs> this is what I chose to do. I am still getting what I need to get done. Um, but... I have always given my kids at least $100 just for them to go and do something nice for themselves and something that they didn't necessarily have to work for, but just, you know, some enjoyment money. So, there you have it. Do not come for me in the comments or I will come for you. <laughs> it's bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, butterflies. Please forgive me. All right, so 100 to Bri uh, excuse me, to Janae. 700 for Brianna let me um, claim, her, claim her on my taxes, um, which is about the difference of what I would have got. So she got seven, I got seven, somewhere in there. I've got to pay my tax guy. He's 175. I've had him for years. 
Um, I had him when I had my home daycare and he knew all the ins and outs and everything else. So um, I'm one of those loyal chicks. I've had him for years and I refer everybody to him. So that's just how we roll. Um, I have a ticket, y'all. They caught me on camera. I can't even say that it wasn't me because I was in that area or would have been in that area in the morning time. I can't even say it's not me. So anyway, um, Home Depot, I took, uh, and I posted this on Dish in the Debt. Oh, sorry, y'all. I hit the camera. I posted this on Dish in the Debt and I caught it by the grace of God. I did not have any extra money just kind of laying around, but um, I did get a um my malice check came in and i was like wait a minute my home depot says that i was going to have i think i had like through six months or something um to pay it off without any interest and i was coming up on that i think it was like the 13th of february that i had to have it paid for and so i had not paid for it yet and it was $321, I think. So I was like, hmm, let me check and see how much the interest would be. Child, that thing was $50 and some change. I said, oh, no. So I took my mileage check and I paid that. So the remainder that I have left on my Home Depot is going to be $100. And then my Capital One I'm paying off. That's $1,494. And then my... Um, second capital one. Yes, you heard me correctly. My second capital one is 2026. So I'm going to pay both of those off. And then y'all, I'm going to put the rest of that in the bank. I need a buffer with three kids, a grandson, four dogs. I need a buffer more than a thousand. Now, um, what I plan on doing after this, let's go back and remember that i don't have interest on my house note um because i have a habitat house i've been in here for 11 years um this is going into the 12th um i have a car note um that i should not have gotten i'm just being honest i should not have gotten that car um, it is a 2017 Kia Sorento. I love it, but I shouldn't have got it. I should have kept my Pathfinder. I would have been paid, finished paying for it. And I, you know, this is after Dave Ramsey the first time, before Dave Ramsey the second time. Now I'm on the second time. So I ended up um, buying a new vehicle. And then I have my student loans. Now, my student loans are on deferment. My goal is to chuck, 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 whole bunch of money as much as I can toward my car note to get that paid off quicker. Not going to worry about my house note right now because of the fact that I have no interest. I'm only paying for the principal. Um taxes and insurance that's it my house note is like 461 dollars a month i mean for a four bedroom two bath house you, you cannot beat it um so um let's see what else if anybody wants to know anything about habitat um let me know down in the comments i'll give you my i love story time i would love to tell you guys that story about habitat um, one of our subscribers, that's how we kind of, you know, started talking, um, because she got one. So shout out to you. I'm a, uh, you know, once again, I'm one of those people. I'm going to try to protect your privacy. Now, if you want to come in the comments and say, shout out, it was me. That's fine. But I'm going to protect everybody unless you give me permission. Um, so, um, let's see what else. My car note is ridiculous. Um, it's more than my house note. So I, I'm really going to work on that one. And then I will go and tackle my student loans. But my student loans are going to be last before my house note. So car, no, pay off this consumer debt. And as soon as Uncle Sam releases my money, I am consumer debt free. Yay! Yes! 
I'm consumer debt free. Then after I pay off my consumer debt, then I'm going to work on, I'll have my emergency fund and then I'm going to work on my car note and paying off my car. Then my student loans and then my house. So that's the order that I'm going in. Um, honestly, I think I'm going in the order of, I still think I'm going in the order of Dave Ramsey, but if not, Dave, sorry, this is the way that it works for me. <laughs> He's never going to see this. Um, but anyway, you guys, um, tell me about your experiences, what you guys are planning on doing with your taxes. I would love to hear about it. Please go over to Ditching the Debt, uh, Pam Meets World, Ditching the Debt. We would love to have you guys. Um, we talk about all kinds of things and support each other. Like I said, we'll put each other in check if that's what we need to have. But for the most part, you know, if you need to vent, you it's a safe place. Now, um, you do have to ask to, to join. Um, we do ask that nobody tries to sell anything or, or anything like that. We came up that came up with that um, restriction as a group. Um, I didn't want to do it just on my own. I wanted to ask everybody and everybody wanted a safe place where we weren't trying to sell anything or anything like that. So anyway, um, there you have it. I think I'm done. <laughs> I love you guys so, so very much. I'm so glad to be back. It feels good. Thank you for supporting the, the latest um, or the newest or the latest or whatever you want to call it video that I just posted up. Um, it was just nice to see your comments and interact again. And so um, I'm going to try to be as respectful as I can. You're going to hear some other stuff other than finance. That's what most of you guys said that you came on here for. But a lot of you said you, you just wanted to see what was going on in, you know, in my life. And so, you know, I'm going to talk about things of that nature. And so we'll keep it moving until we can't move no more. So I love you, butterflies. And until next time.